Uh, we've got a dog at home. She's a handful sometimes. Hard to fathom what it's like for people with multiple mm -hmm. dogs. Especially if there are personality conflicts. It's when it gets chaotic, so let's point you toward one specific class at the Nebraska Humane Society. Kathy Gadan is a pet behavior specialist at the Nebraska Humane Society. Okay. Good to see you. Come on, Kathy, who's Kathy. this? This is Paco, this right? This is Paco. What's Paco all about? Paco is a wire hair dachshund mix. He's about two, we think. He was a stray. Nobody claimed him. Oh, he's so handsome. He's very sweet. He has greeted everybody in the, in the room back here waiting mm -hmm. and loved it. Look if at they, him. And if they didn't talk to him, he whined, so they did. He's really mellow. Is that typical really for him? Yeah, well, he may get a little more excited. He had surgery yesterday, so, oh, you know. Yeah. yeah. And he's, he's in, in a, a scary place that yeah, he doesn't know, but place. as he gets more familiar, he... He put, his ears, per, ears perk up. Mm -hmm. and he's very sweet, though. Yeah. I love him. Yeah, he so was, he's available for adoption he today? He's available. Starting at what time? Noon. Oh my uh, what kind of, what type of family do you think he'd be a good fit for? Um, not real little kids, just because he's pretty tiny. Um, if they fall on him, they could really hurt him. And dachshunds have that longer back, so mm -hmm. you have to be a little bit careful, you know, to be, mm -hmm. protect that a little bit. Um, but, you know, 12 and up. Um, and they do want him to meet other resident dogs, if you mm -hmm. have resident dogs. You recommend that in general, or is that it's, because of... It's a pretty good idea, just mm -hmm. because you can meet on neutral territory, and you just kind of see what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Well, if you do have multiple dogs at home, whether you're bringing somebody new mm -hmm. in, or it's just the way it's always been, yes. it can get chaotic. I, I mean, it, you know, because you have <laughs> yes. multiple dogs at home, so you Very get much. this. Oh, yes. What are some of the challenges that families face? Well, it's, you know, what do you do at mealtimes? Because, you know, do you want, you don't want dogs guarding or getting into other dogs' foods. How do you go for walks? How do you take one dog and not the other dogs? Mm -hmm. And be, make the one that has to stay put comfortable mm -hmm. by themselves because they get used to being together and staying by themselves can be tricky. How do, how do dogs, because they're, they're, dogs run in packs. Yes. I mean, that's how they, that's how they live. They do. Uh, so how does their behavior change uh, from when they're living at home with by themselves versus uh, you know a couple of their dogs? Well, they bond together is what they do, and so they work together and they'll tag team each other a little bit. Um, but you know, to have a group of dogs running at you at the door, oh, that's a little spooky. Mm -hmm. One dog going to the door is probably not a big deal, but you mm -hmm. get a group of them and they yeah. they can get yeah. much more protective. How do you handle yeah. that stuff in a class setting? Basically what we do is we have places where they can tie one dog out to the wall so they can hang on to one, but yet mm -hmm. they can still work with both of them. Um, and we work on things like loose leash walking. How do you get a sit and a stay or a down and a stay? Mm -hmm. Teach them to get on a mat or a blanket so that they learn how to do that and behave themselves, but to do it together. So you bring all those dogs to the class? They can, each person can bring two. Two dogs to the class. Right. And how long does the class go? It's a four week class hour a week mm -hmm. um, and they both dogs have to have been through a basic class gotcha. Good to know. so that we know while you're here mm -hmm. Kathy Ginnan yes. your biggest fundraiser of the year is. is coming up real soon less than a month away October 2nd so walk for the animals how many people do you think are going to be there this year oh there are tons of people that and come like, it's amazing like thousands and thousands, thousands and people. thousands yeah mm -hmm. um, and it's in the afternoon this year it's from 12 to 4 uh -huh. which what is else different. is new you've added some of those new things they you? have they're gonna have a barbecue they'll have tacos they will have the um, beer garden. Mm -hmm. um, we also have the Purina dogs, who are fun mm -hmm. to watch. They yeah. were here about four years ago, but it'll be fun. Everything will be in the meadow, yep. and the walk will start earlier as opposed to later. So everybody will have a good idea of when things are starting and what well, they're doing. Well, all that information is available at anyhumanesociety.org, your website. You can it get is. all the classes. You have other classes, too. We do, mm -hmm. absolutely. Um, Tons. So go there for all more information. TJ Miller took a lot of our time, Paco. so we've got to wrap this up. But Paco is available Kathy. for Paco adoption. Available. And our set is a disaster. That's where we're standing. <laughs> we'll show <laughs> you all clean. in a little bit. Yeah. Thanks, Kathy. Thanks, Thank Kathy. you. Thank Good to see you. you. So we've been